Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me doing week three of the Lico Premium Challenge. Uh, I haven't done it before and it's a hard, so let's see how long this goes. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Uh, here I am in Taipei. Uh, no intro today, so yeah. Uh, let's still get today's farm, shall we? Uh, we have 296 best meeting point, given it all by uh, or M. By n binary grid where one is the home of one friend we turn the minimum each one is the home of one friend minimum total to travel distance to some what does that mean houses and a meeting oh you have to find a meeting point they don't this is a very awkward way of phrasing it but uh, i get what they're trying to say uh okay there'll be at least two friends that makes sense i guess <laughs> As it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't matter either way. Um, all right, let's think, right? So, this is a Manhattan distance problem. So, um, I want to say that you can treat the, the dimensions independently as a result. Uh, what I mean by that is that, um, you know, uh, the, the optimal. X and optimal Y are kind of like can be treated independently of each other. Uh, so I keep dropping my laptop. Um, um, the reason being that they, you know, uh, it doesn't affect each other that at all, right? They're independent. So that means that we look at all the X's and, and all the Y's of them, and then and then now we're trying to find a minimum uh, point for X and a minimum point for Y. And in that, it is also uh, a known thing where you just have to find the median, right? Uh, so yeah, so I think that's the way to do it. And the median thing is kind of, uh, all right, let's say we already reduced this to, I usually draw this out, but I don't know, maybe I could still do it. Okay, let, let me try to draw it out. All right, let's say you, you believe me that uh, they're independent, right? Let's do it, do it. Uh, then now the median is the ideal thing because let's say you have a number line, right? Uh, you have all these numbers that are, uh, uh, you know, that you're trying to figure out the best meaning point for. Um, and let's say, uh, yeah, okay, let's just add numbers. Good. Uh, because, and you want the median because if you go a little bit to the left, that means uh, you, you go closer to two of them. And you go farther for, to three of them, right? Which means that you're farther from the optimal. If you go to the right, same thing. Uh, you move three, uh, three of them are moving farther, and two of them are moving closer, which means that you're adding uh, distance, which is less optimal. So, and you can do this with even numbers too, or even number of, uh, n two. Uh, then it's just any number in this middle for the same idea, All right? Okay, so then now you just have to figure out the median for the x's and the y's. So x's uh, is equal to the y x y is equal to this, and then let's do a loop to kind of see the ones. If grid of i j is equal to one, then x x of i uh, append i append j, right? And I know this linear median finding. If you want to do that, that's fine. I, I'm lazy. I'm not going to do median finding, at least not today. So uh, you can, you know, I'll just add a note. You can input this to. Actually, I guess it's not really lit. Um, hmm. Input this using linear median finding. That's what I mean to say. It doesn't actually improve uh, the complexity, but it is faster to run in practice, I guess. Uh, it doesn't because you get dominated by r times c here, right? So you still, so yeah, r times c is bigger than o of r log r anyway. Well, that part may not be true, but but yeah, you, you can improve it, but the complexity it doesn't. Uh, 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 r times c, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. I guess it does improve it a little bit. Yeah, I misspoke. Uh, I'm well. Hmm. I just woke up. That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. Uh, but yeah, and then now I'm gonna take uh, the 
Oh, maybe I'll just see. Right, and and this is just the medium, uh, the median element, of course. Uh, oh, maybe mid x is equal to do, mid y is equal to y. And it's okay to kind of, um, what you might call it, uh, take the floor of this because um, anything, we, if, if it's even number of element, that doesn't matter which one you take. So, or anything, any number in between, really. So yeah, and then now go back. Actually, I don't even need. I mean, I could do it this way, but I think you just do it independently on the x's and y's anyway, right? So yeah. So then now for x in mid x, or no, in y x. Oops, what am I saying? X s. Uh, total. Do 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 do. X minus mid x. I guess it's technically more correct. And that's it, hopefully. <laughs> Whew, there we go, 13.54 day streak. Uh, pretty good time, and yeah, that's all I have for this one. Um, I think the key thing is to recognize that, well, one, it's manhand distance, so you can make it independent. Uh, and once you make it independent, the other thing uh, is about the median finding part, uh, which I, I know that I kind of went through the proof really quickly, but it is something that shows up a few times on the code and competitive in general. Um, but the proof is pretty, I mean, the proof is pretty good, I think. It's just that uh, it may take a little bit of time to understand because it is a little bit quick. Uh, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. And yeah, stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.